Now, Michael Gagan is a, a political consultant and joins us now from Victoria. L let's start uh, on, on the uh, political race in Quebec. Uh, who do you think has momentum heading into the final week of campaigning? Well, uh, obviously, it's the uh, Liberal Party under uh, Philippe Coulard. Um, ob uh, in terms of the debate, every other leader, leader including uh, Quebec Premier Pauline Marat, uh, went after him. He's Every poll uh, that I've seen shows the Liberals in the lead. Um, he did, however, show some weakness in the, in the debate that might have slowed his momentum a tad. But right now, instead of what... Uh, Quebec Premier Marat was expecting, which was to go from a minority to a majority, we may in fact see a Liberal government back in power in Quebec. Now we hear so much about the view inside Quebec. Uh, what about outside? At the beginning of this campaign, did you expect that at this point the Liberals would show this kind of momentum? No, I'm pleasantly surprised. I think the rest of Canada, uh, to use Quebec's favorite term for the rest of, <laughs> for, for every other province, um, I, I think we had resigned ourselves to there being uh, another PQ government and, uh, and all the disruption and disharmony that comes with that. So if, if we now see the election of a Liberal government, that will obviously be good for uh, you know, Canadian unity and, and quite frankly for Canada and Quebec's economic progress. Uh, to federal politics now, the Prime Minister oversees in a big way uh, all of this week. Uh, what do you think he accomplished in those stops? Well, first of all, uh, Stephen Harper, along with uh, German Chancellor Angela Merkel, you know, they are now the two most senior people within the uh, so-called G7. Um, you know, he, he did some important things. He's, uh, uh, he, he went to the Ukraine. Uh, he was at The Hague. Uh, he made some very clear statements about uh, Russian uh, President Vladimir Putin. He said, you know, we've tried to have this guy as a partner, but he's, he, uh, Putin has made it clear he wants to be a rival, and now we have to treat him accordingly. So he's drawn a very clear line in the sand with regards, uh, with regards to Russia, and I think that's going to help stiffen the resolve of other uh, Western leaders. Uh, are you surprised that the uh, very tough line that he took compared to, say, uh, other nations? No, uh, for two reasons. Uh, first of all, uh, Prime Minister Harper has never trusted uh, Putin. Putin is an ex-KGB officer. Uh, he, he's a person who uh, laments uh, the, the collapse of the Soviet Empire. So Harper has never, never trusted the guy. And also, Canada has a very substantial uh, Ukrainian uh, population. And so, therefore, you know, it is just, you know, basically smart politics to take a tough line in defense of the Ukraine against Russia. Michael Gagan uh, joining us from Victoria. Thank you very much and have a great weekend. Thank you.